Well, this new XFX power supply brings a few interesting things to the table. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it up. So this is a, hmm, how should we put this? This is a second thing. Well, the second time we've encountered this on this particular channel. And what this power supply is, is an 80 plus platinum power supply. So as I've sort of discussed in the past already, 80 plus platinum is pretty much almost 90 plus. I think uh, at 100% load, it can go down as low as 89% efficiency. That is in the AC to DC conversion. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the other cool new things that this power supply brings to the table very shortly here. So it is 80 plus platinum. Here we go. Uh, 80 plus gold certified means that this has 90 plus power efficiency and 80 plus platinum certified means, okay, so there, yeah, so at least 92% power efficiency and that is at the at the peak, at sort of the optimal level in its, uh, in its load, in its power, uh, in its efficiency curve. All right, continuous power. Yeah, okay, so XFX has got the true wattage guarantee. Yes, some power supplies are rated at unrealistic, sort of in unrealistic ways. So that is maybe they're uh, rated for the peak output or maybe they're rated for a hot, unrealistic testing environments like 25 degrees Celsius, but XFX power supplies guarantee their advertised wattage even at well above standard operating conditions at 50 degrees Celsius, which is, very, uh, that's, that's probably even a little bit on the high side. Clean power, so power draw from your AC outlet is typically dirty with voltage spikes and fluctuations. This is very, very true. XFX power supplies give you tight DC voltage regulation with minimal AC ripple, giving you safer, cleaner power. Okay. Extreme heat tested capacitors up to 105 degrees, whereas some of their competitors are using Japanese caps, but they might only be rated for 85 degrees. This is all true. They say they've included all of the various safety protections, although one thing that's going to be a little bit challenging safety protection wise is you guys have to bear in mind that OCP over current protection is uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to implement on a single rail power supply. And this is a single rail power supply that does go for all single rail power supplies. That is an enormous amount of current running through a single rail. So just bear that in mind. Hybrid fan control is very cool. The uh, power supply operates silently. That is the fan does not turn on until it reaches 20% load or 25 degrees. Now, bearing in mind that 20% load on a 1000 watt power supply is 200 watts. I have yet to see a system other than like an SLI quad core type system that idles at more than 200 watts. So that means your power supply is pretty much going to be off 90% of the time whenever you are not actually doing anything intensive with it. So that's very cool. So note, hybrid mode is on. The fan will not be on initially. This does not indicate a fan. Sorry about that guys. So yeah, it will turn on automatically when it's needed. Also, I should note, I said the power supply will be off 90% of the time. I meant the fan, not the power supply. So DC to DC converter design is very efficient and allows you to maximize the 12 volt rail uh, usage on your, on your power supply. So that means that almost all of the rated power of this unit can be delivered on the 12 volt rail. So you can see that that is 900. Can you even read that? Oh yeah, you can, wow. It's really hard to see it in person, but up to 996 watts can be pulled through the 12 volt rail. And then if you do use more plus five volt or plus 3.3 volt, you have up to 125 watts on those two combined. Quiet 135 millimeter ball bearing fan. Okay, supports multiple high-end graphics cards, uh, up to three graphics cards natively, high quality Japanese brand capacitors. Connectors included, we'll get to that when we actually open up the thing. I just wanna go through and see if there's anything else here. So for real high power gaming needs, okay, so this is uh, Easy Rail is what they're calling their single 12 volt rail design. So that single 12 volt rail, as I mentioned before, uh, does, does have some challenges in that you're running a lot of current on one rail, but it is the easiest way to ensure that you're not going to have the safety mechanisms of your power supply accidentally shut down your system when you actually just want it to run. So you don't have to worry about which connectors you're plugging into which graphics cards. Easy Rail allows you to not think about that. Solid link. This is really cool. So check this out. They do a cutaway of the power supply here. You can see the modular interfaces. Now, Modular, aha, okay, so this is a bit of a history lesson. 
Modular power supplies, when they first started showing up in any real volume, were well known to be far less efficient than a traditional wired power supply. And that was due to how inefficiently, how sloppily soldered, and how poorly designed the modular interfaces were at the time. Now, you do lose a little bit of efficiency just by having plugs like this that are plugging into something else, and maybe you're not making a perfect connection, all of that stuff. But, so how was XFX able to achieve a modular 80 plus platinum power supply? It's still very efficient, by the way, 80 plus platinum. Well, that is, or so they say, by using SolidLink. So SolidLink, instead of using a PCB with soldering points and aha this is exactly what a traditional modular interface looks like on the inside they've used solid pieces of metal to bridge the gap between the PCB inside your power supply and the connectors on the outside so that's very very cool that's the first time I've seen that it also comes with a five-year warranty and less wires less heat this is very much true that's modular power supplies in general, because by having fewer cables cluttering up your case, you do allow for better cooling for the rest of your system. They're gonna block less of the cooling. So full modular design, solid link, hybrid fan mode, okay, lots of PCI Express connectors, and we are finally ready to have a look at the unit itself after we look at the included modular connectors. So here you can see we've got our 24 pin connector. Very nice feeling cables, actually. Nice flexible cables. The, what looks like a reasonably good quality sleeving, so it's not as opaque as some of the ones I've seen in the past, but it's also much better than some of the others that I've seen in the past, so it's got a, about sort of this length to it, so fairly standard. You should be able to reach pretty much any 24 pin power uh, connector location on a given motherboard. The ones that are usually more challenging are these 8-pin ones. So this looks also fairly long, so as long as you're in some kind of a reasonable, you know, not like an uber full tower case, you probably won't need an extension cable for these. And then it comes also with another 4-pin power connector, which looks a little something like this. There we go. So you got another one of those now. Okay, so two of those. What else we got here? So we have two Molex. Love this. Nice, conservative numbers of Molex connectors on one of the included modular cables. Why do I like that? Because I use very few Molex connectors these days, and when I do, I just need to run a couple of them somewhere. This one has three Molex, which is great because I'm either using two or three in a given build. And this one uses another three, and then that does it for Molex. We do have a Molex to tool floppy pin adapter, just in case you still have something that uses that, whether it's a sound card or something like that. Um, and then for PCIe, we've got uh, three, two, three, and three. So for more peripheral adapters, you've got one here that's just got two, so you run that up to your optical drive or drives. And then you've got a few more here that each have three Molex, uh, or three SATA connectors on them, and you'll use that for the bulk of your drives. Here, wow, these are nice and heavy. These have some real heft to them. Gotta love heavy wiring. It always has that uh, that quality feel to it. Okay, so these are, I'm a big fan of these. Uh, these are dual PCIe to, uh, or rather, single connector to dual six plus two pins. This is the most flexible possible way of doing it. Pretty much any high-end graphics card these days requires two connectors. So this way you can take this one brick where you can see you've got two separate connectors just kind of coming out of it and then you plug that into your card. You've got three of these, so you can do up to three dual six pin or dual eight pin or six plus eight pin cards natively with this power supply, or you can even do, actually, you can even do uh, three, or rather uh, two, like Asus Mars or something like that, because you've got six total connectors. All right, we've got some included thumb screws, black thumb screws for mounting the power supply in your case. Nice beefy power cable is included, uses a standard connector, so you don't have to worry about uh, having a custom custom cable. You forget your your uh, special cable, you go to a LAN or something, you realize you don't have it, and all of a sudden it's a trip home, which is a real pain. Comes in a little bubble wrap black package, and ooh, that looks very nice. XFX has done an outstanding job of really setting aside the look of their power supplies from everyone else without making them look tacky because uh, that's the challenge that you run into a lot of the time when you try and make your product look different is you make it look different in a bad way. I don't think XFX has done that at 
all. So here's our large 135 millimeter cooling fan. You can see they've got kind of a neat cutaway look here, but what they've done in doing so is they've actually not um, made the cooling efficiency any worse. Like it's still quite closed inside. So all of the downdraft or updraft, whichever way you orient your power supply, is going to be focused on cooling the components inside. So speaking of components inside, I want to have a look at their solid link interface which I, oh, unfortunately I can't really see, so I guess we'll have to settle for the outside. So on the back we find kind of your standard grill, your power switch on and off. There's no 115, 230 volt selector because it has uh, universal input. So there's your power cable spot, okay. Let's move around to the other side. So there's your Pro 1000 Limited Black Edition Full Modular Power Supply Unit. So speaking of fully modular, there is your fully modular interface as well as your important info, two fan modes, a hybrid fan mode, or the fan is always on normal. I would personally switch it this way. I'm a huge fan of this feature, hybrid fan mode, very, very cool. Being able to have silence when my system is idling from my power supply is just amazing. I don't mind if it turns on while I'm gaming and while it's actually providing all that juice, but components these days are so efficient at idle that why, why, would, I, why would I bother having that fan on all the time? That's outstanding. Okay, so motherboard, there's your 24 pin, there's your CPU 8 pin, there's your one, two, three PCIe um, dual connectors. Then we've also got one, two, three, four, five, six peripheral connectors. And then finally, check out this one. So that's either for another eight pin or for another dual PCIe connector. So you have that flexibility. XFX has included two uh, eight pin, where are they? Ah, here they are. Two 8-pin motherboard connectors, so you can see that's designed to go into that one, and then this one is designed to go into that one, but you could also um, source yourself an additional PCIe connector and use that instead for up to four graphics cards. So yes, this power supply would be capable of powering four-way SLI, although I probably wouldn't do it with four 580s or anything like that because it is a 1000 watt unit and uh, that's probably a little bit more than it's designed to deliver. So let's go ahead and flip it over to the other side where we can see XFX also has their sort of, you know, their branding and their elements. You can see, once again, they've sort of designed the aesthetic to look kind of cool, but they put a little plastic piece back there in order to keep the cooling efficiency from actually being affected by what they've done. So here we can see the specs again on the unit itself. Very sharp looking power supply. XFX is so good at aesthetics. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Pro 1000 watt 80 plus platinum power supply. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.